Hi, Jess here from nigesa.co.uk. Thank you again for joining me on a festive Friday. And um, I've got two cards here for you using the brightly gleaming paper. And I've just cut one card blank and got the two cards out of it using some dies. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made them. So to make these two cards, we need the stitched nested labels and we need the, what are these called? Um, the Word Wishes dies and I've got, I've already done a bit of prep so we need that. I'm using the Happy Christmas, you can use Merry, Merry Christmas if you prefer, I just like to say Happy Christmas. And um, I'm using the two largest of those shaped dies. I've got for one card, so this is extra thick, very vanilla, cut in half, scored in half. I've got my normal um, first layer mat and I'm cutting that out of um, the copper foil, don't worry I won't be wasting that. Then I've got my next layer there in uh, very vanilla and then for the other card again, oh I've not burnished that, I've got half a sheet of um, extra thick whisper white cut in half, scored in half. I've got the mat of pretty peacock and then I've got this stunning paper um, from the um, gleaming, gleaming something, <laughs> can't remember. And then I've already cut the Happy Christmas out of those dies uh, using this. Just want to save a little bit of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some die cutting. So with the smaller of these two dies, I'm going to cut the centre of this one, and with the largest. I'm going to cut the centre out of that one and then these two pieces um, I can use on another card. And um, I'm going to gut this um, using a stitched rectangle so that I can get the centre out of that to use on another card so it's not, it's not wasted. Okay. So I'm going to get those cut out and come back to you. So there's all cut out and I checked the name, Brightly Gleaming, that's what it's called. Um, so that gives me just what I need and then I've got a nice stitched off cut there to use for something else. Uh, these two cut out nicely. Love these dies and I got those at our team retreat and uh, what's really nice when you cut your aperture you got the stitching around the outside, so like that. So those are going to layer up. So I did the bigger one on the underneath so that we um, had, um, so it would cover. Could have actually done it the other way round and had a bit of the peacock showing through on the inside. Never thought of that. Might do it again with another card, actually. So they're going to layer up on there and the Happy Christmas is going to go in the middle like so and then this one's going to layer up on here. I had a different idea in my head when I first made it which I was just going to layer it with Pretty Peacock but I um, changed my mind. So this is going to go that way as well, and uh, now that it's not got pretty peacock on the outside, I'm not sure that I need it. Let me take it off. Oh, now I'm going to think on my feet. Maybe I'll reuse that on there. That's a bit blingy, that. Not sure I like that. A bit too much. A bit too much. I think this background needs a bit of cement. And then we've got the Happy Christmas to go on. Don't want to lose the my bit, which I appear to have lost on the pretty peacock, but I'll find it. 
Oh, I'll cut another one. So that is to go on there. And what I might do actually is cut another Happy Christmas in the Pretty Peacock and have it shadowing and then it will stick out a little bit more. That would look nice. Might equally look nice on that one. Can you hear my brain ticking? Tick, 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 it is. I do think it works better to the way around. Oh, you know, when you're doing something, you're like, well, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And then change your mind as you're making it. That's quite nice that. I might do that. I'm still not really happy about that peacock. I think it might be better being peacock on the back. Let's see peacock on the back. Hmm, I think that works better. And then I might use the peacock on here. I might use the copper on this one. Oh, look at that. That's better, isn't it? We'll do it that way round. There we go. Got there in the end. Right. I've still got the... No, I haven't. I have lost the knot. Oh well, find it after. So I can just stick those together now. Just deciding whether or not I want to emboss this or not. I'm going to stick that together and I'll think about it. So we need some Tombow. That's not the Tombow I want, that's the one that I would have thrown in the bin. I kind of watered it down to see if it would um, work. There you go, love. Um, and now I need a tissue or something to mop that up. There's my Tombow. got so much of a habit now just doing that all right so loving this paper I uh, used it to make a beautiful box and then I thought oh I just make stunning cards out of it and I wanted to do a way of getting as many cards as possible so I cut the card base size and got two out of each card space size so you can get six card bases out of your 12 by 12 so that's oh squiff so that's 12 cards out of a 12 by 12 which I think is pretty good so now let's good stick this up on dimensionals Although it's a bit, it's a bit flimsy. This paper is slightly thicker than my normal DSP, but not thick enough, I don't think, for standing up. There we go. Stick that on there. So I'll be busy putting together 
my class takeaway and uh, hope hope some of you are excited by that I need to poke out the other bits there and I've got to use one of those here for the eye although that might be the eye there And then we just use a bit of Tombow. Gently on the edges of these. Stick that down. Does fit nicely. And there. And I'm putting my happy, which is, as I say, that's my preference. I prefer happy Christmas to Merry Christmas. Although I do say Merry Christmas as well. There we go. Go. and then we just do a little dollop there and then I can pick up one of these and stick it on the bit of glue trouble is it tends to then come back up again I need a little pickup tool. And non gluey hands. Stick that on. There. Stay. There we go. So that's that one done. Quite simple. But blingy blingy very nice and then we'll do the same with this card I might speed it up because it's a bit boring and there they are all finished two cards from one DSP card front panel and, uh, and I've got bits left over um, to do um, something with the uh, copper foil so hope you like that all details will be on my blog should be a link coming up there please like and subscribe and go and explore some more link to my shop uh, down below okay see you again soon bye, -bye.